don't see any for, for this area, which means we'll just go do a job. There is someone doing a bumper. Alright. But, uh, yeah, let me go grab a job. Jobs are kind of your fill-in. You don't have anything, a job is like a quest that's repeatable. That's your terrific. What about grenades? Do they got grenades on here? Uh, they do have grenades. Ooh, there is a crash thumper up, uh, setting waypoint. They do have grenades, um, they're more of a... They're more of a, a consumable item. Um, really what you're gonna be looking at is, other than your guns, it's gonna be your abilities, which you'll unlock between now and level E. Oh, okay. And once your abilities are unlocked, those are the things that you can add modules to to affect different things like cooldown uh, decreases or and, and things like that. Much like your weapons will have modules that you can increase the ammo capacity or damage or rate of fire. When it comes to mining resources, so that's kind of what the game, uh, what the customization is all about. The bugs are already at it. Unfortunately, they don't have any kind of customization for your vehicles or your battle frames really that I've seen short of, you know, purchased cosmetic items. Uh, that's not true. When you level frame 4 you can unlock that frame to color. You say you need color to clear your frames, but you your vehicles don't really have anything, but you don't really have anything. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, squad waypoint should be up if you look around. I'm also standing next to it, so... Squad waypoint way, way over that. there? Okay. Yep, way over here. I'm on way. You never run out of sprint, so you can just toggle it on and just keep sprinting. Sweet. Um, like I said, like I said at the beginning of the game, it kind of sucks because <laughs> you're running around a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Travel is like the worst thing ever because they they're kind of random locations that you get sent to, and everything's kind of random. So, 100 meters is like not uncommon to have to run between the things, and sometimes it's nuisance, but you know, running is fine. But it's also to the point where the job missions that you do, like the dynamic missions that just kind of pop up over the world, which is what we're going to do right now. This is called a crash thumper. Yeah. And someone just started it. Son of a bitch. I'm here. Okay. Yep. Okay. So he just started it. A bunch of shit just blew out of the thumper. You turn around, you'll see these blue things over on the ground. Yeah. Basically what we have to do is we have to run these back over to the thumper. Now you can throw them. You stand in front of them, you'll see the E with the circle. Yeah. Just hit E and the circle is basically how long it takes to pick it up. When you pick it up, you can't fire or anything. So you run it back to the thumper. Now you can run it all the way so that it's very close or you can like by clicking your fire button and it'll throw it over. And if you look up, it'll have the percentage of, you know, the health. How many right. parts are needed, three of five, and the time remaining. And then you also have to defend off these, all these little bugs and shit. Oh yeah, I like the Dreadnought. Except for the charge up time. That happens. Yeah, the charge up time, that sucks. I'm missing the last piece too. Uh, yeah, we still have one more piece. Somewhere. Oh, see it. Yeah, it can be three in a 360 degree view of the thumper, so you have to kind of look all around it. And it, uh, they don't follow like the real rules of physics. They can be like blue objects and stuff, which is kind of hard. Sometimes they just don't exist. But you know, they they end them. So far, it's very PVE oriented. There is a PVP zone. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, at this point we've done once, but if you're not, like, geared, you know, well enough for it, it makes it really hard. Oh, okay. So, that's, that's one kind of decrement. You have to kind of do the PvE first. They haven't brought back, there used to be, like, arenas like Deathmatch, you know? Yeah. Team, team instance, 
you know, normal deathmatch stuff. But. So we just completed it. Uh, if you look to your left underneath the group bar, you should see, you know, a new notification N. That's why it's the N key. And you hit the N, and again, it's the left mouse click to show. And, and it'll show you the experience points, what you killed, how many things you returned, and many rewards. Nice. Um, any rewards you get, like I just got a battle core, you hit P, that'll open up your paper doll, where you can add things. Alright. But that's where you can access all your stuff as well, as your abilities will unlock. Like, you should have one already, you're level 3, so you should have the first one. Which I think is like Sin Beacon or something stupid. Uh, ability... Uh, decoy? Oh, decoy is like a stealth. It's pretty cool, actually. It makes a copy of yourself, and you then stealth and can run around stealth for a little bit. How do you use it? Just you hit number. one. One? Okay. Yeah, it's one through four for your different abilities. Uh, oh, dude. Squad waypoint should be up, by the way. I actually don't see the squad waypoint now. And it blows up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man, really? I hate it when the squad waypoint thing doesn't work. I see it. Yeah, it should be 330 meters over here. Yeah. Let's see that other thumper that crashed over there? Yeah, it's another crash thumper. Then I figure we'll go for the LGV, I suppose. And someone already started it. It's got less than... I just completed it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, but I hit level 2 and got credit somehow. Nice. So really, like, the most typically entertaining things to do is to do the dynamic events, and if you don't have one of those, then you work on the jobs. Yeah. That's how we kind of roll, so like right now I keep just, every time we're done I open up map with M, look for, you know, an icon on the map for like a crash thumper or crashed LGV, and then we go to that. So that's basically what we're doing right now, and then when there isn't any up for a minute or two, we go back and we get a job. Sweet. And that's kind of the flow that we use uh, to level up our frames. Is typically you will get the most XP from these dynamic events. And, th and again, they're usually the most entertaining. Or thumping. Yeah. Have you done any reading on the game or anything? Or? Mm, no, I just basically just did the tutorial. And I okay. think that did the first mission that they gave you. Yeah, the tutorial mission. That's how you got to level 3. Yeah. Okay, no one's here at the crashed LGV yet. Uh, Waypoint should be up, but someone is rolling up to me. Yeah, I'm 100 meters out. LGBs are a little different than Thumpers. They're just a straight defend while it sits there. Right. Thumpers, those things shoot out. LGBs, you just protect against the bugs. Or they blow up right away. And as you can see, you just start it by walking up to it, and again, E. E is your friend. You do it for everything. So, uh, get used to using E a lot. I'm reading a scene imprint on that LGB's hard drive. I'm sending you a data worm to pull the data from there. Okay, the data worm's working. So yeah, so this data worm, this little robot, is basically what we're really protecting. They okay. more go after that, I've seen, than the LGV. But Oh, big boy, here's the big papa. Had a primary weapon ammo. Okay, uh, primary weapon, um, basically as you kill stuff, over here, look, uh, direction I'm running, an engineer deployed, a uh, health station, an ammo station, right. and you can just run right over that and grab, and grab ammo. Also, mobs will drop a little yellow thing. If you're far away from it, it'll just look like a little yellow light on the ground. Yeah. When you get close to it, it'll turn into a little circle that shows ammo. So, mobs will drop that on a regular basis. Okay. It'll also drop basically the same thing but green, that's health. Yeah. Oh, 
most of your drops are group specific except for those two things. So like anything else you see on the ground, like an item or anything like that's only gonna show up for you and your group. Whereas like health and ammo show up for everybody. So if you're short on ammo and someone else is short on ammo, they'll just they'll it. So you kinda of have to be aware of how much ammo you have. Okay. This blue thing right here is your money. It's your it's called crystite. You see right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, the crystals they draw, okay. Yeah, that's that's your money. Uh and it splits in your group, so if you just pick them up, we'll all get one or whatever however much it is. Yeah, so the more we all pick up the more we each get. Speed. Level 3 weapon module. Level 4. Nice, grass. Yeah. And nothing's up, so I'm gonna go run for. Uh, that Ares mission over there. Where? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, level 3. Ooh. Upcoming squad. Ares missions are like basically like dynamic dungeons that just. Cuts a long Drop. ways. A thousand meters. Woo! It is a long way. Um, this is where it's handy to look for a glider pad. Like, for instance, we are very close to Copa still. I just put yeah. them down right on that rock right there that you were. Oh, yeah. And you will notice that we will put them down sometimes. So if you come up back by, uh, back by me, there's one on a rock here. Alright. And gliders are definitely the fast way of going. Yeah, it's only going to get you like halfway there, but halfway is less than you work. Um, the thing about gliders is there's a skill to using them. It's just like gliding, like like you would really are gliding. Yeah. So like you'll see little arrows on the side of your like, two things. That's like a speed indicator. So if it, the arrow points up, it means you're going too fast. If the arrow points down, it means you're going too slow. Yeah, I just hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little practice, but I always thought the air, up arrow and down arrow was like, that's the direction you need to go in order to do well, but it's, it's really just the opposite of that. Because it's uh, okay. means you're going too fast, and you need to, to to slow up a little bit so you can point in the direction you need to. Damn water! Yeah, water's bad. It's just <laughs> that it won't let me spawn my bike. <laughs> uh. Actually, can I send him one time you stuff? That's a good question. Oh, we haven't been friends for three days yet. Have to be friends for three days, yeah. Huh. Wow. Well, I just added you to friends list, so that's to stop gold trading and stuff like that. So it, it's, it's actually something I'm okay with dealing with. It's like, yeah, it sucks to have to wait three days, but then you don't have gold spammers because they can't send gold to each other very yeah. easily. What? I don't know what the entrance actually is for this. It's right at the front of them. Sweet. Your hundred and a million tokens that you have. The bomb is somewhere in here, boss. Also, the F key targets them so that um, it shows up on everyone's map. On the mini map, that is. Also gives you kind of an indication of where you're looking. Alright. Yeah, so, and that's the red triangles going around the monsters. Well, they would actually be green or yellow to him. It's a, a difficulty thing. So they're red to you because they're red to you. But they're yellow to me. I don't know why they're They're yellow to me, the three. Right, okay, yellow to you then. But when you when you do the F around, it shows the difficulty that they are. Uh, you know, I never noticed that. I gotta go 
have some ammo packs. I have the red one right here. So this one you have to like turn the bomb off and you gotta get the three keys and you gotta make sure you line up the right key. So like I picked up the red one and I had to wait till the red light comes up. They're basically glowing balls on the ground somewhere. Yeah, I think I may pick one of those up. I'm not sure. Maybe not. So we're looking for a white and a black. I've used 75% of my data for this month. Okay. <laughs> it's like the... Well, it goes to the 20th, but yeah. Okay, here's the, uh, the black one right here. Damn it. Oh, Some here's the white one. Guys. Got it. Oh, okay. Where's the white one? I got it. Oh, okay. So here, here. You put this in, just so you can see it. it's, it's not hard to do. Yeah, how does it come back? So then you got the you got the, the white one there. So you're gonna come over here to the bomb. Be sure to match it with the right color. The energy When it flashes white, go up and hit E. Yep. Sometimes you, if you put it in the wrong one, it, it there's a, a countdown. It's, it says how how stable it is. Oh, okay. If you put the wrong one in, it, it lowers it a significant amount. If you put the right one in, it ups it a little bit. Yeah. So you just gotta be careful about putting in the wrong ones. Alright. Maybe he's gonna find a way out, which is sometimes not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never remember which way I come from until I've like done them. Like, I remember Devil's Tusk, which is level 40 area. Like, I always remember those, because... They're always end up getting there. Ugh, looks like job again, but will I make it before something pops? <laughs> Sweet. Take one and then go do other things and then come back to the These are surface deposits, by the way. Yeah. You can use, they're called uh, sonic resonators, you can craft them. Or you can uh, get them again from doing jobs. Um, you throw them on there and get your resources, like so. Okay.